Has anyone really been far even as decided to use, even go, want to do, look more like? If what you just heard gave you a stroke, congratulations. You've just had a swarm of bumblebees invade your brain. You now have brain bees. You're gonna fucking die. This sentence is the most incoherent yet humorous word salad ever to grace the internet. Even word salads like, why do they call it oven when you have in the cold of the hot eat the food, I couldn't even say that right. There are actual words and nouns and things that form ideas here, but the subject of this particular video is so foreign, even with the context, that it takes a while just to decipher. On February 12th, 2009, an Anon on V, 4chan's video game board, posted this. Of course, this insane reply would derail the thread instantly. Other Anons were bewildered, but amused at what would soon be the legendary lay internet moment. I've witnessed so many derailings on 4chan, but holy shit, this one, especially in hindsight, is like watching the Hindenburg drop the bomb on both Hiroshima and Nagasaki, only to have the Hindenburg also go up in a blaze, while also hitting the Twin Towers. Like The Conduit, the game that they're talking about in the thread, it would soon be forgotten, and the OP's original post would be reduced to being like Buzz Aldrin, the poster boy for second place. Over time, people did eventually figure out what this reply means. And we'll get to it, but we need to address the absolute insanity of the first part of the reply. LOL at the screenshot. I, I, how does somebody write out something so easy to understand and coherent, and then follow it up with an EMP? There's no way this was just done by somebody who had a stroke while posting on a Taiwanese basket weaving forum about the Wii game conduit of all things. This was a goddamn inside job. Just look at the screenshot. It's too perfect for this to not be a coincidence. Sure, there's no proof that it's all staged, but all the same in the reverse. If a bear plays the conduit for the Wii in the woods and nobody was there to see or hear it, did it really happen? Given the context clues of the original post, Many have speculated that this reply might be asking if video game companies have ever went out of their way to make a video game look so realistic or lifelike. 2009 was the height of Call of Duty and its copycat contemporaries, so it's not too far of a stretch to infer that they might be commenting on how lifelike video games were trying to be at the time. The Conduit was a game with a photorealistic art style. Graphics were a major selling point at the time, so for a game to look like this on the Wii, it must have been a great marketing ploy. This reply might just be poking fun at the Wii title's attempt to get into the mature, photorealistic shooter market at the time. Regardless of this Anon's intentions, whatever they were trying to communicate became null and void when he constructed this horrifying sentence. So how does a word salad like this get made? What exactly makes these sentences so jarring and weird to read in your head and out loud? Thankfully, there is somewhat of a science to understanding word salads. For this section of the video, I will be paraphrasing and citing an article called Word Salad and the Rules of Conformity by Patrick Lockerby. Or Lockerby? I don't know. Most words that we say have inherent meaning to them, even if they are stringed together in a way that doesn't adhere to the grammar of our language. For instance, Lockerby uses the example I always tell lies to connote how our grammar works, even in jarring situations like this. In language, we have protocols and rules of conformity that make up a language's grammar. Grammar is the set of principles of a language. However, there is no complete grammar in any language. And believe it or not, what makes a sentence coherent can be explained by one mathematical system. Markov chains. Markov chains is the model in which to examine the probability in a transitional state, meaning that it's the math behind what will occur next for something based on its present form. Markov chains help answer three problems. Problem one, what is the probability of a certain state sequence? Problem two, what is the probability that the chain remains in a certain state for a period of time? And lastly, problem three, what is the expected time that the chain will remain in a certain state? 
For those who are in computer science, Markov chains should be familiar to you, as they're used in machine learning. Relating Markov chains back to linguistics, the transitional state between each word in a sentence abides by the probability methods in Markov chains. A coherent sentence like, where is the best yogurt in your fridge, is immediately noticeable. The cogency makes sense to us based on the probability of words in a sequence. Lockerby posits that humans immediately recognize discontinuities in sentences. The discontinuities in a Markov chain are, I suggest, a key to understand how English works. It seems that the word selection process favors continuity in sentence generation and favors discontinuity in the marking of sentence boundaries. If a Markov chain based program follows a few rules of syntax and selects from a list of nouns, verbs, etc., then the output, whilst often appearing strange, becomes a closer approximation to a valid English sentence. I suggest that this approach is too restrictive in scope and will never generate the diversity and style of a valid output, which a program needs to converse with humans in a natural-seeming way. The problem lies in the supposition that this is just because words may be categorized as verbs, nouns, and such. It follows that ideas themselves may be categorized. From a mental model's aspect, the theory does not follow. I suggest that mental models do not conform to the norms of syntax-based grammar, with only one possible exception, a formally learned mental model of syntax-based grammar. Relating this back to, has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to do look more like? This completely breaks all syntax and cogency in a way that a Markov chain wouldn't even be able to predict. The discontinuity in a sentence is immediately obvious, but this word salad is so disjointed. Why do they call it oven when you have in the cold a food out of hot eat the food is an example of a word salad that has some cogency in its syntax. There are key words like oven, cold, hot, eat, and food that illustrate the point immediately. There are verbs and nouns that are present to make it readable. The subject of this video is mostly just pronouns and adjectives. When there are no nouns for the adjectives to describe, this sentence feels like a pipe bomb being detonated on all of the English language. How would a Markov chain or a mental model even be able to predict or make sense of something like this? You can't read this for the first time and immediately be able to coherently understand or be able to say it out loud. When observing the natural world, many of us notice a somewhat beautiful dichotomy. No two things are ever exactly alike, but they all seem to follow some underlying form. And Plato believed that the true forms of the universe were hidden from us. Through observation of the natural world, we could merely acquire approximate knowledge of them. They were hidden blueprints. The pure forms were only accessible through abstract reasoning of philosophy and mathematics. For example, the circle. He describes as that which has the distance from its circumference to its center everywhere equal. Yet we will never find a material manifestation of a perfect circle or a perfectly straight line. Though interestingly, Plato speculated that after an uncountable number of years, the universe will reach an ideal state, returning to its perfect form. This platonic focus on abstract, pure forms remained popular for centuries, and it wasn't until the 16th century when people tried to embrace the messy variation in the real world and apply mathematics to tease out underlying patterns. I'm done with this part of the video for now, and if you're really curious about how this all works and Markov chains and all this nonsense, there are links in the description below. This is one of those videos that is way easier to write and edit for than to just record. It's trying to say anything is just giving me a massive headache right now. Even past a lot of the mathematical stuff that I was talking about, word salads are really fun to me. I've spent so much time memorizing this particular word salad just to mess with people in public. It has a 100% success rate of getting me interrogated for linguistic terrorism. This is just one in a list of internet oddities I can talk about. If there's one in particular you want me to examine in this kind of form factor, let me know. But for right now, I'm going to go snort a bottle of fucking Advil. Fuck. Fuck.